I'm going to show you how to make two bracelet holders, a DIY bangle holder bar and a DIY earring organizer that is going to give you space to display your jewelry. When I see more of my jewelry, I will be more apt to wear more of my bracelets or my earrings that I haven't worn in a few years. These DIY jewelry organizers are going to give you more storage, more space, and they're going to help you have a more organized, functional area for your jewelry that is a beautiful display for that jewelry and they're using items from your house so you don't have to go out and buy these $18 jewelry organizers or bracelet holders. When I research sometimes, when I'm searching for certain items, sometimes I get so overwhelmed with the creativity that spurs or, oh, I need to buy this and then I need to buy this and I need to buy this. And so I started putting on my repurposing glasses and I thought, what do I actually need to do? And what can I use in my house based on my inspiration to create this project by myself. Okay, see how messy the jewelry is? The little tea bag containers that my Aunt Susie gave me are a little too small now to hold the big earrings that are trending these days. And there's me wearing my diamond ring that I thought I would never have on my finger as an adult. <laughs> and then here we have my jewelry box that is overflowing. I have so many pretty bracelets. I have to pick all of them up in order to find just one bracelet and then inevitably they're going to get tangled. There are earrings. There are real dainty earrings that are down there. Stuff that I never wear but look this is the watch that I always wear but it's way down here at the bottom okay and I have to show you my kitty cat watch. Never wear it but it's so cute. Once you've surveyed what you have and what you need, what you want to display in your jewelry organizer, then you need to decide what are your needs? What are your wants? I need for myself, I need storage. My existing holders are too small and I don't wear half the jewelry that I have because I don't see it. So I want my jewelry, my bracelets, my earrings displayed more, but in an organized and beautiful way. My wall hanging organizer for my earrings was this item on Amazon that is $42. That is so expensive for me just to hang a frame on my wall and have access to all my earrings. And I bought this $15-ish frame on Amazon and then I spray painted it because although I love this rustic look and this rustic color, I did not want it to stand out from my T-bar holders for my bracelets that I'm gonna show you later in just a few minutes. So I spray painted it off white with this matte creamy color, ivory color, let it dry and then it comes with these little clips. And so I don't know if I'm gonna use the clips yet, but I went ahead and spray painted them. So they're all a uniform color so that just my earrings pop and my cute T-bar holders that I'm gonna make are really gonna shine. I could put a ledge on it, but I don't think that I'm gonna need it because my dresser is right under here, okay? So if you can see that behind me, but what I did buy is I bought these command strips, which are so fabulous, and these are gonna fit underneath it, okay? They're clear, crystal looking, like the project I'm going to have, and I'm gonna use the, put the little command strips on, and I can have a couple of these to hold some necklaces, just to give it some length to draw your eyes down to this next DIY bracelet holder. It's so pretty. You're gonna need two different, or three, if you wanna make three levels, two different height candlestick holders that are glass or crystal. Mine are totally dirty. They're totally cloudy because I haven't used them in almost 15 years. The way to clean them is to just use three parts water with one part vinegar, mix that together and just set or dunk your candlestick holder in the vinegar for about five minutes to about 20 minutes. It could take a long time and it might take a lot of rubbing for you to get the cloudiness off. For me, it only took like one minute to set it in there and it came right back off, mainly because it's been stored and it's just gotten cloudy like that. So clean your candlestick holders, let them dry completely. Look how gorgeous the glass looks after being clean. It is so pretty. It's sparkly when it's clean. And with your leftover vinegar, you can shine that sink. You're gonna need two paper towel tubes, E6000 glue, a ruler, and some scissors, okay? And some fancy paper or velvet or uh, felt. Your candlestick holders may have some wax buildup on them and that can be 
bad looking, but since your bracelets are gonna cover up and distract from that, you might wanna do what I did and just scrape off as much as you can, but they, it really requires this other product that you can Google, um, And but to me, it didn't make that big of a difference, so I just left it on there. Once you have your crystal picked out and dried and cleaned, you want to find your fancy paper. In the store-bought jewelry holder and bracelet organizers, you'll notice that they're usually a black velvet felt material, and I didn't really want black because it was so heavy against the dark brown of my furniture, and um, the gray color was just kind of blah. So I went with this sparkly aqua, you know I love aqua, paper, and I'll show you how I put it on the paper towel rolls. So grab your nearest ruler. Isn't this so cute? It's multifunctional in my kitchen and I can open and close my rack and my toaster oven with it. You wanna measure the leftover paper that's hanging off from the paper towel tube. And when you roll it, you want about two millimeters on each side sticking out. I start halfway down the paper with the glue and then I put the tube on that glue and then roll the paper up on it so that I can keep the ends straight. You know when you're using uh, wrapping paper or something, you roll it all up and it ends up in a, like a diagonal mess? This will help it. I like the E6000 glue so that you can pick it back up if you do make a mistake versus using hot glue gun, which is a permanent stick and you can't make any mistakes. In order to give some stiffness to your bracelet holder, I suggest putting in trash bags. And what we do is we use a plain paper towel holder in our pantry and that's where we store all of our unused or all of our reusable plastic bags. And when we need one for a bathroom trash can, we just pull it out of here and then we stuff them in every time we go to the grocery store. So put some of these in here so it'll give it a little bit of stiffness so it won't collapse after many years. After you've stuffed your tube, then you're gonna measure around the back of your next paper and you're gonna cut out the circle. The reason you don't wanna do it when you have this is because it's too narrow. This has the added thickness of the paper and it needs to be that wide. And then you're just gonna take these pieces and glue them ever so lightly with your E6000 and it's gonna cap it off. So when you have both ends capped and dried, you're gonna move your seam to the bottom and you're gonna figure out where it sits most securely. And that is in those grooves. So that is where I'm gonna put the glue and I'm gonna measure to make sure I have the middle point. And then for some weight, I just put a dish towel on top of it. It's gonna move a little bit. I also bought this toddler plate because it's aqua, it's plastic. I can store large earrings in this section and smaller ones over here. My thought was to put pom-poms around the outer circumference of it, but I thought with the fancy paper that I used that it would be a little too kiddish looking. And so I'm gonna return these or swap them for something. Isn't that paper so pretty? I love it. Oh my word, I love this. It's aesthetically pleasing to myself. It's organized, I can shut my jewelry box. I've added this aqua plate, but it doesn't look like a little kid's plate to me. It just brings your eye up to the aqua, and then the aqua is right in front of the necklaces that are hanging down, but they're dainty enough necklaces. Okay, I rearranged them a little bit. How do you like this? See how that back one is at an angle instead of right in front of it? And I took off the super long necklaces and I put the shorter necklaces. It looked a little busy, so I took off the big ones. And there's that. I love how that one turned out. It's so cute. And see, I can add stuff around the edges if I want to later or if I need to. Aren't these so beautiful? I love them. They are giving me storage. I am displaying my bracelets. I have more space in my containers to house my jewelry, to display my jewelry, and I'm going to wear my jewelry more often. I'm gonna wear these items that mean something to me, that have a special memory in my heart. A family heirloom. I'm going to wear them more because I have an organized area 
for my bracelets, my bangles, my watches, my earrings. What other objects around your house can you use instead of these candlestick holders to hold the paper towel tubes? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe or click on the bell below and that will let you know every time that I upload a video. Share this video if you want to. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you for visiting my Laurie Pop channel, Ideas That Pop on YouTube. Pop over again anytime.